A Madison couple is facing the possibility of jail time tonight for keeping an RV on their own property. Now, this isn't just a recreational vehicle. They've actually been living in the RV for a few months while fighting with their insurer over the fire that gutted their home. But now their homeowners association and the city are saying they have to move that RV or else. This is where the actual fire started. Pam Navari thought it couldn't get worse than a fire gutting her house on Christmas Eve. Now she says she was wrong. And, and this is all of our stuff that we had to go through and bag it and I mean, you can smell it. The Navaris and their insurance company are still fighting over a settlement. This summer, with cash getting tied and desperate to keep their son in school, they found an RV they could fit in their driveway. The Navaris live in Annandale Estates. The Homeowners Association doesn't allow RVs, except in a bona fide emergency. We actually had called um, the alderman for our location. He was aware of what was going on. Mayor Mary was aware of what's going on. And as long as it was approved by the homeowners or the board, then we could get a temporary permit. They were, okay they were okay with it. But soon after they moved in, the Navaris learned everyone was not okay with it. And next thing we knew, we got a letter from the board members saying that it was against the covenants. They were not able to change the covenants. They felt, they felt sympathy for us in our situation, um, but we needed to leave, yes. Navari still doesn't know which of her neighbors complained about the RV, but one woman told her she was concerned it would bring down her property value. Having the, the, the issues with the insurance company, knowing that that happens, but to know that your neighborhood doesn't support you or cannot understand what you're trying to do, um, that has been a total shocker. Absolute punch in the stomach, take your breath away, shock. 30% of Americans live in neighborhoods with HOAs, more than ever, and many of those laws govern RVs and other vehicles. Mississippi College School of Law professor Matt Steffi says the rules are generally binding. Uh, anyone can think back to a Christmas vacation with the Griswold family receiving a visit from Cousin Eddie and realize why a neighborhood might legitimately want to limit or restrict having someone living uh, in, in the driveway or uh, parked out front in an RV. You would hope that neighbors could come together and work something out. When this court summons from the city of Madison showed up on their RV, the Navaris were allowed to speak to their homeowners association board for the first time, and they invited us along. Yeah, but I thought they said that we could have our representative with us. Attorneys. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Are y'all ready? We are ready. Okay. I think they're ready for it. So but the HOA board refused to let our cameras in, and the Navaris didn't get the answer they hoped. I cannot believe that people can be so genuinely cold. The Navaris hope their attorney reaches a settlement with their insurer soon. Unless their neighbors have a change of heart, they'll be forced to leave their home again. So we're just trying to let people know I mean, we're not trying to hurt anybody. We are just trying to continue to be a family, continue to fight. Um, every single day we're fighting, um, you know, to have this attorney deal with the insurance company so we can get our home back. Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to do. Now, we wanted to talk to the members of the Annandale Estates Board, but they did not want to be interviewed. The representative referred us to Madison's Code Enforcement Director, Miriam Etheridge. She told me rules are rules, and this case is now in the courts. The Navaris will be in court next month. Tonight, you can tell us what you think about their situation on the 16WAPT News Facebook page.